Hey, have you come up with a theme yet? We really need to get some of this stuff. Hey, yeah, I know. I have a couple ideas on here. I'm thinking Hollywood would be a really good idea. Mm, I feel like everyone does Hollywood though. It's so overused. Well, everyone does it because it's really good. Well, what if we try something like um, Under the Sea? Ew, no. Well, what's that supposed to be? It means we're not going to pay $90 for Under the Sea. Okay, but blue would be such a nice decoration color. No, prom's not even at the aquarium. That wouldn't even work. Well, we're not going to do Hollywood either. Well, there's nothing wrong with Hollywood. There's star decorations and they're blue. It looks pretty. But everyone's tired of Hollywood theme. It's way better than Under the Sea, Emily. Okay, well, we have to come up with something. No, I just like, I don't understand yes. why you want to do Under the Sea. Everyone does I can't Hollywood. find it I don't want to look, I don't want to have fish all over the floor. I'm sorry, what? One more time? My new keychain, I can't find it anywhere. It has, it's blue and it has stars on it. Like Under the Stars themed? Yeah, like that. I have a new theme for prom. Yeah, me too. No, well, no I'm gonna be the one to say it because I need to get. I need to no. get it. Stucky will kill no, me if I find it or not. Good afternoon, Longhorns, and welcome to RBV TV. I'm Eva. And I'm David. For Spirit Week today, we hope you're wearing some college gear. If not, don't sweat it. You can wear baseball gear tomorrow or pastel colors on Friday. Anyways, Longhorns, we hope you have a great day. And remember, here at RBV TV, we don't break the news, we, we put, put it, it together. together. Student drivers need a parking pass. You will be ticketed if you still need to get a parking pass. Temporary passes are available in the finance office. Are you looking for a free mountain adventure this spring? Want to learn outdoor skills such as rock climbing, archery, horseback riding, and hiking? If so, all RBV students are invited to apply for a weekend retreat at Pathfinder Ranch taking place April 26th through the 28th. Please see Ms. Walker in room 327 for an application and more information. Applications are due by April 12th. If you took digital photography last year and your artwork was in the State Fair this summer, please stop by Ms. Clark's class in room 233 to pick up your art and ribbon this week. Seniors, our grad night celebration will be on May 31st. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets cost $150 and can be purchased at the finance office. Ticket supply is limited, so go get your tickets today. Now over to Jimmy with some club and career announcements. Medical Missions Club is holding its spring food drive from March 11th through March 29th. Donations of any canned food are highly appreciated. The club appreciates all your help. Bring donations to room 343. RBV seniors, this is a reminder, if you would like to be considered for local scholarships that are awarded to RBB students only, please make sure to fill out the questionnaire that was emailed to you in February. This questionnaire is how the RBV Scholarship Committee selects the recipients. The due date is April 8th. Thank you, the RBV Library Scholarship will be available until, until Friday, April 19th. Information is posted outside the library doors. Did you know that Cesar Chavez took huge risks to ensure the voices and rights of others that were acknowledged? Join PASS AmeriCorps to honor his work by sharing with fellow Longhorns what you have done to support and honor the voices of others. You can find the PASS program during lunch in the library on the 28th and 29th, where they will be collaborating with students to create a vibrant Cesar Chavez poster. Now here's Isaiah with some quick sports news. These guys dragged me out of bed to do this, so. <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. Student athletes, if you have athletic bags and gear on campus for practice and or games after school, please drop off your athletic bags in room 720 before going to class. If you do not have a fifth or sixth period on Tuesday and Wednesday, please drop off your athletic bags slash gear before going to your first class. If the door is locked and you need access to room 720, please notify a campus assistant for assistance. According to Max Preps, and if I'm wrong, Lenny don't kill me, Boys Lacrosse has an away game against Claremont tonight at 7 o'clock. Their next home game is St. Mary's next week. Good luck, boys. Softball has had an impressive win streak, going from a blowout against Valley Center to a close home game against Olympian. Their next game is Friday, the 29th at Rancho. Good luck, girls. Girls Lacrosse plays this Thursday, traveling to National City to play San Diego Academy on Cavalier Turf. Good luck, girls. Baseball has a matchup versus Mar Vista this evening at 4 o'clock, later facing Mission Hills in back-to-back -back games on the 3rd and 5th of next month. Good luck, boys. Well, that's all the sports we have for you today, Longhorns. Back to you, David and Eva. Well, that's all we have today, Longhorns, but before you go, here's a quick recap from last week's staff versus student basketball game. Hook up! Hello Longhorns and welcome to the 21st Annual Staff for Student Basketball Game. I'm your host, Kylie Salzler. And I'm Melanie Martinez.
Mr. Sanchez, what are your scoreboard predictions for this year's game? Well, I, earlier I said I have two words for this game. Light work. This is a good squad. I think it's going to be a 10-point game. It should be 60 to 50 us. Okay, okay. 10-point okay. game. They got a couple hoopers. I think staff is going to have probably 62 students, maybe 25. Yeah. Ms. Janaibo, what is your scoreboard prediction for this year's game? Like I said before, my scoreboard prediction is 65 staff, 12 students. Uh, go Rancho, we got this. <laughs> um, seniors, probably 432 staff, 2. Like 10 to 20. Students, 100 staff, 0. 64. 54. Hey, what's up? I got 5248 staff. We got the experience, and they play like trash. Last year, the staff won 5848 over the seniors. Will it be a similar outcome this year, or will the seniors be able to come back? I did just have a, a golf match, played nine holes at Shadow Ridge right across the street. Had no time to uh, get warm or anything. Like this guy here, you know, he, th he, th he, thinks he's, he thinks it's football still. Let's get it. How are you feeling after the, after the first half? Uh, pretty tired, to be honest with you. I'm not the athlete in my family by any means. We did good. So I did very good. Me and Cammy both shot about 100 threes so far. Okay. Cammy? Yep. You know, the half was slight work, you know what I mean? They were fouling us a little bit, but you know, it's nothing. I mean, we're up right now. We're going to go ahead and finish them off just like last year. Is this, is this a fair game so far? Or it's a fair game. Mean? I'm the best ref out here right now. I don't know. It's, it's I've never a, seen a worse referee in my life, Yo, man. Yo, good You have zero points here. All right, guys, that's it for the first half. Staff is winning at 32-24. All right, let's see what happens next. I feel pretty good, but man, it is all about Miss Cunningham, man. She was dominant. That was incredible. MVP performance. How do you feel about your performance tonight? What do you think you could have done better? It was good. I had some poor shot selections, but I got like eight points. You know, the energy wasn't quite there. I think we could pa definitely pass more. We're getting a little sloppy out there. I mean, that's all I got. Rebounds. When you count the number of rebounds that we had, we always had somebody on the boards. And so when you control the rebounds, you get more opportunities. I could have gotten eight points, you know. Uh, I'm not that good at basketball in the first place. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this year's Stafford Student Basketball Game. The score was 68-45. The seniors didn't stand a chance. All right, guys, we'll see you next year. Hook em. Hook em.